Good morning, it is Phil to the Brim and it is Wednesday, July 27th and we're talking about environment. The environment of our lives, the environment of what we choose within, the internal environment. Yesterday I talked about choosing the environment of faith. We can't necessarily control the environments we're placed in physically. Situations that happen, dynamics that are around us, but we can choose the environment internally. What do we choose to have within us? Yesterday I talked about faith versus doubt. Today I'm going to talk about the environment of holiness versus worldliness. The fact is this, what is holiness? Holiness means I want to have Christ's character or Christ's character because God is holiness. So holiness and godliness are, are together. And because now that we are the children of God, we have the Holy Spirit in us, we can choose holiness. We are unable to be holy on our own. But now that we have the Holy One that dwells in us, we can choose His strength, His power to be holy, to make choices in alignment, following the character of Christ. It means having the character of Christ. See, the truth is this, we can choose. We are all new creation. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. See, when we choose righteousness and holiness, we choose life as a new creation. We're not choosing the old man, the old ways, but say, Lord, I choose what you would do. I choose your character, and I know in my own strength, I cannot do it. But with the Holy Spirit's power, I can choose to be holy. We don't choose our old ways. We don't choose to give in to the flesh. Because that flesh is the old man. That sinful flesh has died. Now we choose Christ's ways. Romans 12, 1 and 2 speaks about this. And you know this is one of my favorite scriptures because it's so foundational to our transformation as new creations. It says this, Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice. I'm offering myself up daily in surrender to the Lord. That's what it means. I'm offering myself. I don't choose my old man. I don't choose my own will. I offer myself daily unto the Lord in surrender, in submission to the Lord. This is my worship unto the God I serve. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. I can choose. I will not be like the world. I will choose holiness. I will choose Christ's character. I will choose his ways. And where do our choices come from? The renewing of our mind. The thought life. I will choose. See, our thought life is connected to our actions. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Yesterday I talked about David. He strengthened himself in the Lord. When he strengthened himself in the Lord, he chose the faith environment. He chose the faith environment, faith in the faithfulness of God, and as a result was able to determine through inquiring of the Lord what the will of the Lord was for his situation, a very difficult situation. In the same way, Paul writes, Listen, when we're submitted to the Lord, when we're surrendered to the Lord, when we're choosing to be like the Lord, when we're not choosing our own fleshly ways, when we're not choosing the world's ways, when we're not conforming to the pattern of this world, rather we're being transformed by the renewing of our mind, then we will know. This will help us to know what God's will is for our situation. When we're cultivating the environment of godliness. Now, we shouldn't be afraid of that word, go godliness or holiness. It simply means I want to be like Christ. I want Christ's character in me. And in that, I am able to have the mind of Christ so that I know His will for this situation. The environment 
of godliness. The environment of holiness is not legalism. The environment of holiness is choosing Christ's character. It's choosing to not be conformed into the image of the world. It's choosing not to have the old man be alive in us. The sinful flesh be alive in us. It's choosing Christ's character. And part of that is saying, you know what? I want my mind to have Christ's character. I want my mind renewed by the Holy Spirit. We are actively engaged in choosing what we're thinking about. Choosing what we will cultivate. 2 Corinthians 10, 4 and 5. You know I love this scripture as well. The weapons we fight with are not weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God, and we take captive every thought and make it obedient to Christ. This is connected to the renewing of the mind. I have a responsibility. What environment will I choose? I will choose the Christ-honoring environment, which means the holiness, the godliness, the Christ character. I will choose that, not worldliness, not my sinful flesh. I will choose that. And therefore, when things come to me, when things try to pervert that environment, I take it captive. I take those thoughts captive and I bring them under submission to Christ Jesus. The competing thoughts of the world, the competing thoughts of my flesh, I take them captive and bring them under submission to Christ because I choose Christ's character. I choose to have the mind of Christ. I choose the the word of God. I choose to follow his ways. I don't choose the arguments of the world. I don't set those arguments above the word of God or who Christ is. See, the fact is this. Holiness is transformation. He is making us holy. And transformation begins with the mind and the heart. You have the mind, the thought life, but you have the heart, the will. The will. That I submit my will to the Lord's will. And those things together says I choose to take captive those thoughts. I choose my will, my heart chooses to take captive those things. And I will place myself in the environment of holiness, which means Christ's character, his godly character in my life. Listen, there's another element to this. Choosing the environment of holiness says, I choose to embrace the discipline of my Lord because I am in process. I am being transformed. And therefore, I am in process to becoming more and more like Jesus. So I have to keep choosing. And part of that, he's training me. He's teaching me. Hebrews 12, 10 says this. Paul writes, Our fathers disciplined us for a little while, as they thought best. But God disciplines us for our good, in order that we may share in His holiness. He disciplines us so that we share in His holiness. See, the fact is this. Sometimes we think we need to reject discipline. As if it's wrong. As if it's abusive. It's not abusive. The Lord disciplines us so that we have the character of Christ. And we participate in this. In other words, I have to choose to receive the discipline of God. Hebrews 12, 14, he goes on and says, Make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. You make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. Without holiness, no one can see the Lord. We are to make effort. We are to choose. We are to choose the environment of the character of Christ in our lives, applied in our lives, applied to our thought life, applied to our actions and to our choices. See, we have been set free from sin. Sin no longer has reign over us. We have a choice in the environment that we will choose within ourselves. Like I said, A lot of times we don't have the choice of the environment that we're placed in physically. But we do have the choice of the environment that we nurture within ourselves. And we have been set free from sin. And now we are a servant, a child of God. 
and we have the Holy Spirit in us, and we can choose holiness, which really leads to the strength of the Holy Spirit in our life, pouring forth from our life. Are you choosing holiness? Or are you choosing your sinful flesh, worldliness, ways of the world, philosophies of the world, letting those things captivate you and control you and lead you and guide you rather than saying, Lord, I choose you. I choose holiness. I choose the character of Christ in my life. Pray about this word. It's about our choice of environment. What are you going to choose? God bless you.